Scenes like this, you might think, have come from an FPV quad. And you'd be mistaken, today was awesome. Hi, I'm Ashwin Droning On, and in this ever-shifting hobby of radio-controlled flying stuff, we've got drones, we've now got FPV quads, which are growing rapidly in popularity, but we've also got wings. Now, this is something that you guys may not have seen before, many of you probably have, but effectively you can connect the same kind of kit to a wing that you can to an FPV quad, and it makes for an incredible experience. Anyway, before I talk more about how this thing is set up, let's just take a look at the footage that I captured from it today. Then I'll explain how I captured it. I hope you enjoyed that footage. It's hard to believe that it was captured via this. Anyway, let's talk more about it. I had a box in my garage that I'd had there for two and a half years with a wing inside it and I hadn't built it until this morning. And this thing was the easiest thing to put together and even better to fly. This is the AR wing from a company called Sonic Model. Now I'm not kidding when I say that but putting this thing together was literally a case of screwing some screws together and slapping a bit of foam together without any glue. And that's the big game changer here. Normally these kind of products are glued together and it's horrible, you've got to ugh, just get all messy. But this thing was seriously simple. Within just 15 minutes, it was ready to fly. And trust me, I've had the most fun ever this morning, maiden flying this thing, and it just went so smoothly. In terms of construction, you've got the wings here with servos on either side to control the direction of it. It's basically only got two moving surfaces on either side. Instead of ailerons and elevators, which you normally have on a plane, you've got what you call elevarons, which is a combination of aileron and elevator. Real clever stuff. Through that combination, this thing is incredibly sporty and basically goes wherever you point it. I do have other wings that I fly and I've been flying radio controlled stuff since I was 12, but I do notice that these winglets on the end literally make this thing go wherever you point it. It's not the case that the wind really seems to affect this thing, 
you point and go. Although, of course, you are flying line of sight. However, it has another big benefit. In the front here, when you buy this kit, you get a connection module, which is all magnetic. The whole thing is magnetic, including opening up to see the insides of it as well. But the front piece is magnetic depending on which camera you want to fit in here. It's hard to believe that this thing here, which only has a little brushless motor on the back, like that that you'd fit to a quad and outrunner type brushless motor, you can put a camera in there as well. So I've been flying today with the DJI Osmo Action, but it's also got a fitment for any of the GoPro camera range, including the Session and also the Run Cam as well. So that means you can get high definition video from this thing, which is just awesome. Not only that, but you've also got here a location for an FPV camera. And that means that not only can you fly this and capture high definition video, but you can also be flying it as if you're inside this wing. Now I fly line of sight and today I made and flew this line of sight, hence the video footage that you've seen. But flying this FPV is a whole game changer. And trust me, flying quads is great fun. Flying a wing FPV is just insanely good. So anyway, enough of my talking. This thing is absolutely awesome. When you buy this kit, all that you need to add is a transmitter. I'm actually using the FR Sky X Lite, which I love. I got rid of my Tyrannis for this because it's just such a lovely controller to use. You also need to add a receiver and a battery. Besides that, it's ready to fly. And you know what? When I first made and flew this today in the video you've just seen, I barely needed to trim it. And that shows just how well put together this kit actually is. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed building and flying this thing today. Comment below with your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't know what line of sight actually is. And of course, click that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching.